Hi, my name is Stephen Washington, and I teach a combination of Qigong and Pilates that I call Core Qigong. In this 20-minute excerpt of my full 75-minute class, I will be teaching you exercises using an exercise band to strengthen the body. The Qigong exercises will cultivate energy in the legs, hips, and spine. Do what you can and don't do what you can't. If anything feels uncomfortable, stop and modify the movement to suit your body. Okay, let's get started. Hey, Kor Gong family. Again, my name is Steven, and welcome to this week's class. Let's begin our class with a little sound healing moment, an opportunity to, to connect to your breath in the present moment. So breathe deeply. So in this week's class, we are going to circle back to some of our greatest hits from the last few weeks of learning the tiger and the bear movements from the five animal frolics practice. So we're going to start off by using our exercise band first. So go ahead and grab your band and um, let's place it on the floor. So you're going to step in the center of the band. and. Um, we're going to do some shoulder shrugs. Now, you can keep your legs together or just separate them a little bit. If you separate them a little bit, and if you reach a little bit closer to your feet with your hands, you're going to have more tension in your band. If your feet are closer together and your hands are a little bit closer to the ends of your band, you're going to have a little less tension. So listen to your body, okay? So we're going to stand nice and tall on two feet. Draw your shoulders down with your arms long by the sides of your body. Draw your abdominals in and up to support the movement of the rest of your body. Draw your shoulders to your ears, keeping your arms long, holding on to your band. And then draw your shoulders down away from your ears. And again, draw your shoulders up to your ears. And down. And again, shoulders up. And slowly draw them down. Let's add a little breath to this. So you're going to inhale, draw your shoulders up to your ears. And exhale, draw the shoulders down. Again, inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, down. And again, one more time. Inhale, shoulders up. And exhale, draw your shoulders down. Good. So when we did that exercise, we were strengthening our upper trap muscles, but also lengthening them as well. Now what we're going to do is we're going to strengthen our uh, deltoid muscles and do a little shoulder press. So you're going to take your band and you're going to kind of wrap it around you. And I'm putting it just underneath my shoulder blades and I'm going to hold on to the band uh, and hold my hands about in front of my shoulders. I'm going to draw my belly in, draw my shoulders down, lengthen my spine, and I'm going to reach the arms up towards the sky as if I'm reaching my fists up towards the sky. As you reach your fists up towards your shot towards the sky, draw your shoulders down. And I'll slowly bend your elbows and bring the hands down. And again, so you're going to reach up, 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 and slowly draw them down. So if you want more tension in your band, you'll hold on a little closer to your armpits. If you want less tension, you'll hold on a little bit closer to the ends. And reach up. And resist the pull of the bands down. And again, and reach up. And down. Let's do this three more times. up and down one last time and reaching up and down great so we just took a little time to build some awareness and strength around what's called the secondary powerhouse we've talked about that in class before 
secondary powerhouse refers to your shoulder girdle. So we want that, that area of the body to be just as strong as your primary powerhouse area, which is your abdominals, your hips, your low back, and your upper legs, okay? So now let's lower ourselves down to the mat with control. And slowly lower yourself all the way down, making sure that you are in the middle of your mat. And allow your legs to be about as wide as your hips, heels underneath your knees, arms long by the sides of your body. And let's do a little pelvic tilt. So pelvic tilt gets us to open up the low back and the pelvis, as well as help us find that neutral pelvis in the end. So we're gonna tilt the pelvis forward so the tailbone is drawing down towards your heels and the lower back lifts away from the mat slightly. Take a deep breath. And then as you exhale, tilt the pelvis in the opposite direction, draw your navel in towards your spine and press your lower back into the mat. But still keep your butt down on the mat. Try not to lift your butt off of the mat. So again, we inhale, draw the tailbone down, tilt the pelvis to an anterior pelvic tilt. And then exhale, draw the navel towards your spine and press the lower back into the mat, moving the pelvis into what's called a posterior pelvic tilt. And inhale as you arch, and exhale as you imprint. And again, inhale, arch, exhale, imprint. So notice how when you imprint, the front ribs soften into your back ribs and your back ribs anchor into the mat. See if you can keep your back ribs anchored into the mat as you tilt the pelvis into that anterior pelvic tilt. So that your tilt may be smaller than before because you want to maintain stability in the rib cage. Inhale and exhale, imprint. So again, Pilates is not so much about what's moving, it's about what's not moving. Do this twice more. And last time. Now find the position of a neutral pelvis where your front of your hip bones are in the same horizontal plane as your pubic bone. And if they are, you'll still have a tiny, tiny, tiny pocket of air underneath your lowest part of your back on the mat. So roll over onto your side, come on up to seated, and let's do half roll down. So place your hands behind your um, legs, right behind your knees. Go ahead and press your legs together. Feet are flat on the floor. My elbows are slightly lifted, but my shoulders are down. And I'm gonna lift the crown of my head towards the sky. I take a deep breath in. And as I exhale, I pull my navel in towards my spine. I tilt my pelvis back into what we call that posterior pelvic tilt. And I begin to lengthen my arms until my lowest part of my back is on the mat. And then I'll stop. I take a deep breath here. And as I exhale, I pull my belly in. So I press my lower back into the mat more. I squeeze my butt. I squeeze my inner thighs together. And I round my spine forward, keeping my head bowed forward looking towards my belly, making a C-shape with my spine. Good. Now let's do that again. I said, I'm going to take an inhale as I go back. And exhale as I round my spine forward. And ideally, as you do this exercise, keep going. You want to use your abdominals more than you're using your arms. Yes, your arms are helping you, but we don't want to make this an arm exercise, right? Okay, so let's do this three more times. Inhale as you go back. And exhale. As you round forward. Twice more. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Last time, inhale back. 
and exhale all the way down to your mat. All right. Going back to our tiger and bear movements. So let's just start with the, with the tiger. So the legs are sh about shoulder width apart. The knees are soft. You make your tiger claws with your hands and just lift your arms up towards the sky. Now bend at your hips and your knees, bend the elbows and drop down as low as is comfortable for you into a squat. And then you relax the arms down, releasing any negative energy into the earth. And then you're gonna draw your tiger claws up as you inhale. And then exhale out with a ha sound. <sighs> inhale as you roll up through your spine. And exhale. <sighs> you can also release a tiger growl if, you want, if you'd like. <sighs> as you go down. So ha or tiger growl. <sighs> whatever you would like. So this is a great exercise to open up the hips, open up the back and strengthen your legs. It's a wonderful cleansing and clearing exercise as well. I like growling like a tiger, I guess. <laughs> Two more. Last time. Rolling up. Good. Take the arms out and down. Go ahead and cross your wrists. And just take a deep breath in and give me a wonderful tiger growl as you open the arms out. Good. Okay. All right, so now let's move on to an exercise called Tiger Searches for Its Prey. So this one is a great way to stretch out not only the muscles, but as well as the tendons in the body. So this is a way that the tiger movement and practice directly correlates and responds or relates to the, uh, the liver because the liver the, one of the organs for the liver or the tissues for the liver are the tendons, okay? So we're gonna lift the arms up, make our tiger claws. And then from here, we're gonna shift the hips back and bend forward. Try to keep your legs relatively straight and your spine as long as possible. And as you shift your hips back and reach your arms forward, long spine, you're gonna feel that wonderful stretch in your hamstrings. And keeping the arms out like so is a wonderful strengthener for your shoulders and your arms. Take a deep breath and then exhale, soften your knees, roll up through your spine, lift the arms up. Good. Okay, so now we're going to do one leg at a time. So I'm going to shift my weight over to my left. I'm going to reach my right leg forward. I'm going to flex my foot and I'm going to rotate my spine to the right. I'm gonna shift my hips back and I'm gonna bend forward from the hips. And now I have this wonderful, delicious stretch of my right hamstring. All right, just take a couple of breaths here. Good, and then I roll up through the spine, I bring this leg back, I lift the arms up, 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 shift my weight to the other side. I take my left foot forward, I rotate my spine, shift the hips back, and bend at the waist and the hips. Good, so really feel that left hip pull back, flex that left foot, that wonderful stretch in the back of your leg. Take a breath. Good, and step the foot back. Roll up the spine, lift your arms up, 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 up and then open the arms out and down. So now let's move on to the bear. Let's do bear walking. So for bear walking, the legs are shoulder width apart, 
right? And then soften your knees, and the spine is going to be nice and long. So feel the crown of your head lift up towards the sky. Now, shifting my weight over to my left leg, and then I rotate my spine to the right, and then I come back to center. I face forward. I shift my weight over to the right. I rotate my spine, hips as well, to the, to the right, turning to the left, and center. So, shift, and shift. And bending your knees, and I want you to all be very um, aware of your knees. I know some of you have knee issues, so if you have knee issues, maybe you won't bend your knees so much. But when you bend your knees, make sure your knees are, if you look down, that they are in line with your first and second toe and that they're not really going, your knees aren't going past your toes and that they're not going inward towards the, um, the space between your legs, okay? So just being mindful of that. Good, and so from here, we're going to activate some chi in the center of the body by knocking on the lower abdomen. So. I turn to my right, I'm gonna bring my left arm around, and I'm gonna soft fist, I'm gonna tap on my navel, and back to the center, and to the other side. Good, so my back arm is gonna reach behind me, and my front arm is going to reach around the front, knocking on my belly, and every time I knock on my belly, it's almost, though, it's almost as though the energy from the center of my body is propelling my hand outward after each moment of contact. We talked about in a recent class when I taught you um, bear massages its belly and how bear movements are great for digestion. So all this tapping of the abdomen and massaging of the abdomen helps our digestive system. more to each side. Good, and now let's slow it down, slow it down, slow it down until you are still. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is the uh, bear claw progression. So bear claws are like so. so Instead of like the tiger where it's a bit more out and more uh, stronger, fiercer claws, I want your bear claws to be pulled in towards the sides of your ribs a bit more and relax your wrists a little bit more. And then from here, you're just gonna soften your knees, shift your weight over to your left, and you're going to bring your left leg forward and then shift your weight forward towards your, uh, sorry, this is my right leg, Shift my weight forward towards my right leg, and then look over your right shoulder, so twisting from your center. Coming back to center, shift your weight back towards that back leg, step your right foot back. Good. Now shift your weight onto your right leg, shift your left leg forward. Now shift your weight forward towards your front leg, and then rotate your spine looking over the shoulder. So I have my back foot pretty much anchor it to the floor. To start, at least, we're going to progress. Face forward, shift your weight back. Let's do that again. So shift, step, but this time as I turn, I'm going to rotate. So I want you to rotate from your ankle, shift your weight forward, rotate, look over your shoulder, and if you want to, you can lift your heel off of the floor. Good. Face forward, place your heel down, shift your weight back. So I shift, I step, rotate, shift forward, look over the shoulder, lifting the heel. Good. Untwist, shifting the weight back, step back. Let's do that again. Step, rotate, shift, look over the shoulder. Good. Untwist, heel back, step back.
forward. So now the next progression is I step, I rotate, I shift, I lift the heel, I rotate my spine, and I lift my foot, right? And then I place my foot down, face forward, shift my weight back. So this whole progression is about developing strength and balancing. And when we work on balance, it's impossible <laughs> to think about anything else in the moment, right? So this is a wonderful way or, or tool to really focus our attention on the present moment. So shift, rotate, shift, twist, lift. I joked a few weeks ago talking about this exercise, calling it the ballerina bear. Good, let's do this one more time each side. I love this exercise so much. And nice, natural, easy breath throughout. Great. Uh, bring your hands to your belly. Bring your legs and feet together. Soften your knees. And just take a few deep breaths into your center. So inhale, feel your abdomen expand. And exhale, feel your abdomen soften. So ending our physical practice by connecting to the center because this is where we hold our power, our strength. Breath in, deep breath out. Our center is where we hold our power, our strength, our center of gravity. This is what the source of our stability. Deep breath in, and deeper breath out. Take one more breath with me. Beautiful. And relax. Take a few deep breaths with me. Have a wonderful week, everyone. See you soon.